So the question is this, how do thought leaders, school dropouts, former and current students find out what's next after they do or don't cross that stage? If you want to know the secrets to starting the career or business of your dreams, getting paid whatever you desire, and discovering what you do the best with the least amount of effort, then this is the right podcast for you. I'm Sean Anthony, and this is School's Over. Now what? The podcast. Welcome back to the School's Over. Now what? The podcast. Guys, there's no way I could give you a title like that and not give you my story. So first off, thank you for being back. But I wanted to share with you my story and, you know, the whole thought process on putting together something like this and where it originated from. And I'm going to give you a little bit of background about me. So I'm from a small town, Rocky Mountain, North Carolina. Shout out to all my 252 people listening right now. And when you come from a small town like Rocky Mountain, North Carolina, there's really not a lot going on, right? And so we were going through high school and just living our lives. And I'll be honest with you, when I was 14, I began to really look at how I was going to prepare myself for the future. I'm the youngest. I have an older brother. And when I was 14, he was going off to college. And let's be honest here, guys. I didn't even really know what college was. I had no idea what it detailed, but my brother found himself doing something that just, it just caught my attention. And he started putting on all these nightlife events and start bringing on all these artists. And so I was 14 years old and I was excited to go to college to do what he was doing. I mean, you're talking about owning, like just owning the nightlife scene. And ever since I was that age, you know, those, those early teenage years, I knew that was something that I wanted to do. I wanted to get people together. I wanted to get them excited. And I actually, you know, threw my own little nightlife event when I was 14. I threw a graduation party for people that were a lot older than me at the time. And when I did that, it was like a lightning had just striked me. I had an event. I remember that graduation class. I had an event for them and I made over $6,000. Now, I'm not the type to boast, brag, and just, you know, just shoot out like a large amount just to get, you know, thinking twice about, yo, did he really just say that? But I want you to imagine yourself being 14 years old holding that amount of money. And it was at that point in my life, I knew that I was able to bring people together. And I knew that whatever I was going to do, I was going to college. I didn't want to go to the same college as my brother because I wanted to create my own you know, I wanted to be me. I wanted to be unique. So I didn't do that at all. So by doing, you know, looking at what he was doing, idolizing it, I set myself up to be about 30 minutes away from him. Just in case, you know, if I fell out or I didn't know what I was doing, I had big bro right there over my shoulder. So I was the only one coming out of my high school from the crew of people that I hung with to pursue college. Went off and I'm going to be honest, like if you watch like the NBA draft and those people that watch like the NBA mock draft, those athletes are preparing themselves before draft day. And I was preparing myself before the first day of college, but not like the studios. Let me go get a book. Make sure I got all the classes. Make sure I'm taking 18 credits. Nah, that was not me. I was preparing myself to recruit. And bring people along the journey with me, start a promotional team and go after it. And what I found within my first few months of doing this and creating a 30 plus, you know, marketing team of college students is that we can do anything we want if we work together. And we went on and we went on and we created some of the most popping, excited, have you talking about it for the next few years like events. And through those events, I networked. I created a bunch of guys who who really didn't know each other and we created bonds. So shout out to, you know, my five, you know, my five all star guys. You know who you are. And we created bonds and we worked together and we influenced. We we exonerated. We worked hard. We knocked on doors and had these parties and had these events and it was successful. 
But what I realized about myself and what I realized going through this journey is that it wasn't going to last forever. Let's be honest. It had to be a point where it had to stop. And I knew that four years is really my, my timeline. Four years is my timeline. But in the process of doing this, I realized what I was good at. I was good at networking. I was good at getting people together to go after a common cause. Very, very knowledgeable and making sales numbers. And I said, how can I take this great skill set that I've acquired and push it towards something else that will create a longevity career for me? I still wanted to be a boss. And so while I was in school, I was learning how to count money different. While I was in school, I was in banking and banking was born to me, but it helped me acquire the knowledge and skill set of how to do a lot of different things financially. So I went on and said, how can I combine my skill set with money, networking, going at the sales, putting people together, going for a common cause? How can I define that in a career? And I found retail management. And I knew I loved fashion. So putting fashion together with this and my skill set, I just knew if I got in this arena that I could really do something with myself. And within the first four years, I was promoted six times. I doubled my income from when I started. And I'm sharing that story with you because there's something that you're doing right now from the pre-teenage years, whether you're 14 or whether you're 16, there's something you're doing right now that you can put together and create that skill set so that when school's a wrap and it's no longer happening, you already have your destination. You already have the career that you want to go for, or you already know the business that you can create. So I had to let you guys know what my story was. And I hope that my listeners that are paying attention right now, this is resonating with you, whether you're the best at cutting hair. You make the best cakes in the whole neighborhood. Or when you put your pen to the paper, nobody writes like you. Or when you sing, nobody sings like you. And I think that's very important to define what you're good at. And when you define what you're good at, I think it's important to believe that you can accomplish those things. You know, when you grow up and you're young, a lot of people don't think you got what it takes to accomplish those things. I want to share with you something that has motivated me. And this comes from P. Diddy himself. He said, if you dream it, you believe it, you can do it. When you have a dream, a big vision for your life and your whole heart, believe that you can achieve it. You become the most powerful force in the universe. Guys, you got what it takes to do what you want to do. So on that note, I just want to end this with a couple words for you. Dream it. Believe it. Go out and get it. Yo, what you think? I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I want to know what you learned. So if you wouldn't mind, would you take a screenshot of you listening to the podcast on your phone right now? Upload to your Instagram stories. Tag me at Sean R. Anthony underscore. And then let me know in that Instagram story. What is one thing that you learned? I love hearing from you, my listeners, thought leaders, former or current students all around the world. Let me know. And while you're doing this, go inside the podcast app, subscribe, leave a five star review and a five star rating. Again, this helps us reach more people. And if you want to be a part of this mission, helping us change the world one person at a time, it makes a massive difference by you leaving a review. Thanks so much. I'll see you next week. And remember, dream it, believe it. Go out and get it.